Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Kim Lewanson and in today's Fix of Entertainment News, Blue Beetle went up against Barbie at the box office and won. Now we break down the DC film's numbers and how it stacks up against other DC movies. Plus, an update on the casting for HBO's The Last of Us Season 2 and a whole lot more in today's Fix. Let's drop it. The Blue Beetle beat Barbie bat the box office, and yes, I did say bat instead of at because I just love alliteration. But it's true, Blue Beetle flew in and made Barbie back down from the number one spot with a super duper $25.4 million domestically. But keep in mind, Barbie is in the fifth week of its record setting box office run, so it kind of makes sense for the heat to be simmering for the plastic princess in pink. Alliteration, whoo. Now, Blue Beetle bumping Barbie from <laughs> even more alliteration. Blue Beetle bumping Barbie from number one might sound super duper, but it's actually one of the weakest openings for a DCEU film to date. Now, before it, Wonder Woman 1984 claimed that title debuting to $16.7 million domestically, but that was released in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic and hit HBO Max the same day. It should be noted that Blue Beetle's poor performance at the box office belies the positive reviews the film has been receiving. Like we here at IGN gave it a seven, go figure, which means it's good. And it's not great or amazing, but you know, one of those, you know, middle of the road DC movies that exists. I don't think we should be too surprised with its opening box office numbers as Blue Beetle was originally going to be an HBO Max exclusive film until Warner Brothers changed course back in 2021 and chose to give it a theatrical release. And commenting on why the studio made the decision to release the film in theaters, the director of the film stated, quote, the studio felt like it has the potential to be theatrical and the stories that we're telling, the topics that we're touching upon, and how even though it's very grounded and we're picturing this as almost like the first act of a big saga. Well, if those box office numbers don't improve in the coming weeks, it's more than likely we won't be seeing Soto's big saga for Blue Beetle take off. Although James Gunn did say in this Instagram post that he's excited for DC fans to meet this version of the Blue Beetle, who will be an amazing part of the DCU moving forward. So while the Blue Beetle film was in production long before James Gunn and Peter Safran were announced as the duo to spearhead the direction of the DCU, they do in fact have plans on incorporating the character in future projects. And whether that's a sequel to this movie, a Max series, or Blue Beetle just popping up in another DC superheroes film remains to be seen. But we'll be keeping an eye on this one as the weeks progress and as James Gunn's DCU continues to take shape throughout the years. And moving on, HBO's The Last of Us might have already found its antagonist or co-tagonist for season two. Speaking to The Hollywood Reporter, showrunner Craig Mazin gave fans an update on where they were in the process of finding the live action version of Abby from The Last of Us Part Two before the SAG strike put pre-production for the season on hold. Quote, the strike stopped us in our tracks. Things were in process. Look, Abby was the first role that we wanted to tackle. We've got a pretty good track record for making major cast announcements and people going, really? which will probably continue. So people may disagree, but I think we got it right so far and the audience seems to feel we got it right and the Academy seems to feel we got it right. So the question here is who will be cast in the role of Abby? Like the internet's been speculating it might be actress Shannon Berry who gave a rather Abby-like performance in the wilds, but not to mention she kind of looks like her. And she's also being followed by Neil Druckmann on Instagram, but that could mean a myriad of things. Maybe, you know, he's just a fan of her work. Who knows? But outside of that, I think we're also wondering when we can expect season two to drop or even start filming. Now, we already know Craig Mazin and Neil Druckmann are hard at work adapting it and have already confirmed that it'll likely take multiple seasons to fully adapt part two. And with the ongoing writers and actors strikes, production will inevitably be delayed but it's great to hear that there might already be someone cast in the role of Abby. Now, whomever they cast, hopefully fans don't think it was a swing and a miss. And unless you're Joel, then you're, you're probably, you'd rather them miss. Now, if you played part two, you already know what I'm talking about. And doubling back to DC news, if you missed The Flash in theaters, you can check it out on Max Streaming August 25th. The Ezra Miller starring movie sees The Flash teaming up with his younger self, Supergirl and Michael Keaton's Batman to take on an all new threat to the DC multiverse. And General Zod, 
who's very much not a new threat to the DC multiverse. After being hyped for so many years, amid numerous pushbacks and controversies, the movie didn't fare so well at the box office. So at least I guess Blue Beetle has got some good company. Yeah. Now one movie that did exceed expectations is the Super Mario Brothers movie, which is headed back to theaters for National Cinema Day on August 27th. So if you missed that one in theaters, the national holiday is probably the perfect time to check it out. It's just four bucks, you can't beat that. All right, and that about does it for today's entertainment fix. I've been Kim Lewanson, and thank you all so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.